The Unlucky Engine Donald and Douglas had such a lot of work to do that the Fat Controller asked for an extra engine to be sent over from the mainland to help. On a cold, dairy morning, the new arrival turned up, a gray, sad-looking engine. On his side was the number 13. Oh, will you look at that, Douglas, said Donald. Number 13. Well, it's unlucky for some. I am unlucky, said the engine. Everything seems to go wrong whenever I'm around. That afternoon, the new engine started to move. But Donald and Douglas were used to working in a team of three and got confused. Donald took some shots and travels to the harbor. They were shunted into the wrong side by the stage. And when number 13 turned up, he took the trucks all the way back to where they had started. It's not your fault, said Douglas. It's just bad luck. But the bad luck didn't stop there. Donald broke down, and Douglas got buried under a pile of sand when a workman accidentally pushed the wrong lever in the loading yard. At the end of the day, the fat controller said, You three engines have done less work than two. Aye, we've been very unlucky today, grumbled Donald, looking at number 13. The next day, things went from bad to worse. Number 13 was pumping along the coastal line, when suddenly, there was a landslide. He was hit by an avalanche of rocks, and his boiler and fire box were knocked all out of shape. I'm the unluckiest engine of all, well, number 13. Now I'm bound to be sent for scrap. The two twins felt very sorry for the unlucky number 13. Ugh. He wasn't much used to have around, said Donald, but he was always trying his best. The next day, number 13 was sent to the workshop. Are you going to scrap me? asked the engine nervously. He was very worried. Scrap you? That's nonsense, said the fat controller. But we are going to change that firebox of yours. It is much too small for an engine of your size. When the work was over, number 13 felt like a new engine. With a bigger firebox, he was much more powerful and he could make greater steam. Soon he was back helping Donald and Douglas. Together, they sped happily through their work. When it was time for number 13 to return to the mainland, he told the Scottish twins, I shall always remember my time on Sodor, because this is the place where my bad luck changed into good.